Hello everyone, in this story I will show you how to use Displays Photoshop Action and how to customize the effect after action processing is finished. To open your photo, go to File, Open, choose your photo and just click Open. Uh, now, uh, before you play the action, uh, make sure that your image is a background layer, if it's not, go to Layer, New and choose a layer from background. And also make sure that your image mode is a RGB color mode. 8-bit piano. And to load the pattern, uh, choose the pattern stamp tool, click here, here, load patterns, choose the pattern that can be download and just click load. And that's it. Now to load the action go to window, actions, click here, load actions, and choose the action that can be download. And here it is. Uh, now what you need to do is to make a new layer, take a brush tool, pick some soft brush and start brushing the areas where you want to apply the effect. And after you finish it with brushing, uh, double click on your brush layer and type brush. Uh, letter B must be uppercase and all other letters need to be lowercase. Now uh, I need to expand the canvas here on the right side and on the left side. So to do that go to image and choose canvas size. And now if you want to add uh, more space here on the right then click here and increase the value of uh, white. Or if you want to add more space here on the left side then click here and also increase the value of white. If you want to add more space uh, both here and here, then just click on the middle and increase the value of white. If you want to add more space up, then click here and decrease the height value. If you want to add more space down, click here and also increase the height value. And if you want to add more space and up and down, uh, then click on the middle and just increase the value of height. I'll, uh, I'll add more space on the right and on the left, so I'm going to click on the middle and decrease the value to 2000 pixels. Okay. Now, all you need to do is to play the action. Action processing usually takes about 2 minutes, but it can take uh, more or less, depends on your image size. I suggest you to minimize the Photoshop uh, while action uh, uh, is processing because that will fasten the process. And here is the effect. Here we got a brush layer, before and after layer. Uh, Adjust means uh, group of layers. Here, change color layer. Uh, if you want to change the color of the whole image, then double click here and change the hue value. Uh, you got a uh, add saturation layer. Double click here, and here you can change the uh, saturation. Uh, add contrast layer. If you want to increase the contrast, then increase this value here, or if you want to lower the contrast, then lower this value. And uh, add vibrance layer. Double click here, and you can change the vibrance here. Uh, now uh, here is the uh, displays group of layers. Your model layer in the model glow. Model glow is layered, so you can duplicate. Uh, you can, if you want to increase the uh, model glow, you can duplicate some of these layers. For example. Change its color mode to linear dodge, and you can move. You can also move the the glow, 
and uh, this is the background color layer double click here and here you can choose any color that you want and uh, this is the background layer if you turn off this layer these two layers you'll get your image without a background so if you want to place your own background then uh, simply click here make a new layer and go to file place and just choose your image and click place uh, here we got a parts group these are the uh, all parts on the image and uh, here you got the parts glow if you want to increase the glow you can duplicate this layer or if you want to lower the visibility of uh, glow you can simply lower this value here or just turn off this layer if you don't want uh, glow at all and uh, parts are sorted by their size as you see you got small parts medium parts and large parts they're all uh, fully layered here you got a small parts texture and uh, uh, medium parts and large parts also got uh, that texture uh, you can move any of these parts you can uh, scale them, blur them, or duplicate them like this. Uh, hold the control button and click on some of the layers. Go to duplicate layers. And as you see, you can create more paths in just a few seconds. You can transform them. Uh, so you can scale them, rotate them, or uh, you can blur any of the of the parts just go to filter blur and choose Gaussian blur and you will blur the parts on that layer uh, here you got parts color adjustment uh, layer if you want to change uh, the color only of the parts then turn off this uh, visibility of this layer double click here and change the value of hue And also, you can increase the glow uh, by turning on the visibility of these layers here. It is the same with uh, medium and large parts. So you got uh, you got medium parts glow, and here you can increase the glow by turning on visibility of these two layers or you can turn off them all and lower the glow here we got a parts motion group of layers and if you want to increase the visibility of Part motion group, then increase this value here. Or if you want to uh, lower the visibility of parts motion, you can simply lower this value here. And you got a motion glow uh, layer. If you want to increase the glow, it is the same like uh, part glow, just duplicate this layer. Or if you want to lower the glow, then lower this value here. You can uh, parts motion layers are also sorted by their size as you see you got small parts motion medium parts motion large parts motion and also you can transform any of these uh, motion parts or blur them move them duplicate them and so on and uh, if you want to change the color only of the mo uh, parts motion layers then turn on the visibility of this layer and 
increase the value of hue and you got uh, dots group of layers if you want to add the dots uh, just turn on visibility of this group of layers here you got the dots glow and uh, all dots are layered so you can blur them, transform them, scale them, uh, duplicate them the same uh, uh, as you can do with parts and also if you want to change the color only of the dots then turn on the visibility of this layer double click here and change the hue value also what you can do is uh, you can select the layer mask of your model take a brush tool, pick some soft brush and uh, remove some parts of your model so it looks like uh, this, pair, uh, this pairs into the pieces of into, into these parts so just click uh, set foreground color to black and click on places where you want to remove your model then you can do the same with the model go and then you can select the this place uh, layer mask and set foreground color to white and click on places where you want uh, to appear uh, this effect and after you finish with customizing you can uh, play the action uh, called add sharpen to increase the sharpen of your image if you want to increase the sharpen you can uh, even more you can duplicate this layer or if you want to lower the sharpen then lower the opacity of this layer and that's it. If you need any help, uh, please contact me via my NATO profile page.